Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. I am your host, Khadija. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is I want to talk to uh, my clan. Clan, let me say this. I too, uh, this morning, well actually I didn't get any sleep uh, when I heard the verdict that came down with slaughter. And, uh, I, and I know that it's very difficult sometimes to stomach what we hear, what goes across the airwaves, and just what we know to be the psychopaths in action and being sanctioned by the state and it's very difficult to sometimes fathom that reality <coughs> with that being said I want to remind you that anything that comes to steal kill and just destroy you is the devil. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Anything that's in your life, that's over your life, that you have to cohabitate with, that is here to kill, steal, and destroy you, is the devil. Okay? So, we have known for a while that we are dealing with with the ultimate, ultimate psychopath. The ultimate psychopath. There is no logic. There is no reason for a system, a family system. America is supposed to be a family. <laughs> okay? So let's just make it clear that there is a scapegoat in this family. And that is the African American. Okay, so don't ever forget that. And I think part of the problem is you have gotten comfortable. I have gotten comfortable in thinking that possibly justice will pre prevail. I need to make something real clear. I know that it's a rarity. That justice prevails. In fact, 99.9% .9 of the time, justice will not prevail. Not in the place that the devil dwells. How can you expect the master narcissist, the master narcissist, the system of narcissism that we live up under, to not to, to get his supply from us? Okay, so now once we understand that, the first thing to do is protect your psychological makeup because the system is set up to destroy it. It's just, it is systematically set up to destroy your psychological makeup. Okay, this is a uh, psychological war and this is what this is. My heart goes out to the family. And I want to make sure I say this in all fairness because I try to give a balanced report. I want y'all to know that there was 10 white people on that jury and one black person and everybody freaked out thinking that it was a shutdown automatically and this would be a not guilty verdict. Well, let me let me say to you unhypocritically that all the white people on there, they voted right away to, not all, let me make it clear, I'm sorry, 10 of them voted guilty, okay, for this piece of slime ball. They voted guilty. And then you had your foreman, who was black, who also, 
join the rest of the jurors in a guilty verdict. They had a problem with one juror who was a white supremacist. And he too was on that jury. And he had been giving them problems the whole time. This is what the word is. Streets talk. The word is, oof. He was a problem from the beginning. The rest of them were looking at this aberration and telling the judge, we got a problem with this guy. There was nothing done. So, I'm glad that it's going to be a, another trial. But I want y'all to, I want you to know that this is just the beginning. Okay? War has been declared on us. It has been declared. The narcissist will never, ever, ever let up. We have been deemed the scapegoat child for America. America will never, ever, ever admit the atrocities against us. It will never, ever, ever, ever seek to dismantle the reputation when, and not just the reputation, the evidence and the facts that lays before it in terms of how it's treated the melanated people of this society. And since the ones that created this system knew that it would be self-perpetuating, there's nothing that can happen unless the system comes down. There's really nothing that can happen. I don't care what they say. I don't care what all this stuff. Because everybody does not agree with this. That's just like everybody that didn't want Donald Trump to be president isn't a white supremacist. You got people out there because they really believe in the values um, and they and they didn't vote for Hillary or they did vote for Hillary, but nevertheless, they're not waving a Confederate flag and wishing death on black people and uh, returning to the tactics that they used during um, Reconstruction and Jim Crow. Okay? So this is a handful of the population that is insane. And they're the psychopaths, but they're under the system that condones that. The departments, the institutions that govern it are just little flying monkeys of the system of narcissism, white supremacy. So... I want you to take care of yourself today, family, because today is a day where <sighs> but we're not organized. And those of y'all who understand what I mean, you understand what I mean. We're not organized. Okay? And retaliation in a physical sense would be death. Remember, this is a psychological war, and this is a war on your spirit. You have to practice no contact. You have to first be able to understand that you are in bed with, in the family system with, in the country of, the bed of, narcissism. The, the, um, the falsification of your consciousness, as Dr. Amos Wilson said, and you trying to follow insane narcissists and is going to keep continuing to drive you insane. So you need to come from under her. And you need to practice no contact. You need to get out the fear, the obligation, and the guilt. The guilt in calling your open enemy exactly what it is. Okay? This is a system that condones the killing 
of African and, and, and melanated men. I'm not saying that white people don't get killed. So we're not even going to go there because I can already hear it. Well, white people get killed and I know you're going to flood my... That is not the premise of this uh, tape. The premise is protect your spirit. Know that you're in bed with the supreme narcissist. Know that. And so once you've accepted the fact that they've tried to put you in the role of the scapegoat and you deal with everything from an internal perspective, start there first. You'll get clarity. And that's the first thing we have to do. Because a lot of us still are not clear. Oh, I'm not saying that I'm not. I've been clear for a long time. I just include myself. Because I'm in it with you. We're all in this together. And the sad part about it is, so is the black America goes. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before the rest of America fall. We're circling the drain, family. <laughs> all the other great empires came to an end. Ugh. I don't understand why we will be an exception. The indigenous family all over the planet is suffering atrocities from the global arm of white supremacy. And these six European nations that are complete narcissists have been controlling, have been stealing resources, have been gaslighting, have been crazy making, have been doing everything that we say that the narcissist does in the small family, the same thing is being done in the outer family. And I don't care about those that don't want to recognize it. It's okay. You have free will not to. But those of you who can understand what it's really about, know that you're in, in bed with a bunch of psychopaths. Because anybody that's white and they get it, they get it. John Brown got it. Father Grappi got it. You know, um, whether you like some people's practices or what they do, they get it. Tim Wise get it. Jane Elliott get it. John Brown sacrificed his family. So I don't care about the few that want to convince the rest of the world that race is not a construct. But Pandora is out the box now, and we got to live in this construct. I don't have time to worry about what snake is a nice snake and what snake is a good snake. The snake eventually will show itself. Okay? It's not hard. Not hard to distinguish. Just like when you saw the students that stood in front of the black students that said black lives matter and whether we agree with the premise or not we understand the heart of what happened so keep your mind right don't walk around and think that you messing with uh, keep your eyes on alert anytime you see that confederate flag you better be ready and you better stay ready from this point on if not you will be slaughtered and without a vision, the people will perish. All right, family. I hope, I hope that you have a day, a wonderful day today. You keep your head up. Oh, boy. And not only do you keep your head up, keep your spirits high. In spite of Somebody trying to pull them down. All right. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you next time, family, in the mental house. A little later, actually. Bye-bye.